What's up guys, Garrett here with Self-Taught Dev. Today, we are gonna compare college versus being a self-taught developer and which path might be better for you if you wanna be a front-end developer. Now, I am biased because I went the self-taught route, so if you went to college, graduated, and are a front-end developer now, let me know in the comments below what benefits I'm missing or what your thoughts on this are, or come hop in the Discord, we can talk about it there. So, right off the bat, with college, you're gonna be going one, two, three, four, maybe even five years before you can start working a full-time tech job. We'll say four, just to be conservative here. Another thing I don't like is that that first year, maybe two, so the first like year and a half, you're not really gonna be working on any tech-related classes. You're gonna be doing like your histories, science, uh, English, art appreciation, random electives, stuff like that, that doesn't really benefit you in terms of becoming a developer versus self-taught dev. Personally, it took me seven months to get a job. I started in May, yeah, May, June, July, August, September, October, November. Got my job December 3rd, or I started December 3rd, so it took me seven months. But to be conservative, we'll say it takes you like a year, maybe two. Now, as long as you're studying pretty dedicatedly, It'll probably take less than a year to get a job. I was putting in like 25, 30 hours a week. My schedule was I'd wake up at like five, go to the gym, get home at six. From six to 6.30, seven, I'd learn code or build projects. And then I'd go to work and then I'd get home around six and I'd spend another two, three hours working on code when I got home. And then on the weekends, I'd study another like five to 10 hours. So I was putting in like 25 or 20 to 30 hours a week. So. If you go the self-taught route, you are gonna have to be disciplined and put in work on your own. If you're putting in like 30 minutes a day and then you skip a couple days, do another 30 minutes. If you're not consistent, if you're not putting in chunks of time, probably not gonna make it. Or it actually, I mean, it might actually take you two years then. But as long as you're studying pretty hard and working and you're hungry, it, it'll probably take about a year. Also that does depend a lot on where you live, whether you're willing to relocate. If you're like, I want 100K on my starting job, it's probably not gonna happen. So if you're holding out, looking for that 100K job, probably not gonna happen um, for your first one. But yeah. So we got the opportunity cost, self-taught dev gets a point. Next, we have the actual cost. So according to student debt relief, uh, yeah, student debt relief, the public universities charge in-state tuition of 10K roughly, and out-of-state students 25K. So we'll just take this number here since that's lower and say, the cost for a college degree in computer science is 10K. Now with self-taught, you don't have to pay anything if you don't want to. I have a friend from one of my meetups, he completed free code camp and did a few merge stack projects on his own and he got a job. He didn't pay anything to become a dev. I used Team Treehouse's tech degree because I really liked their projects. I liked that it had a little bit of structure to it and I paid about $200 a month. So cost for me over seven months was 1400. But then again, you don't have to pay anything, so cost could be zero. But we'll use the 1400, just assuming you paid a little bit. Because um, you took some courses, or did Udacity, or did Team Trust's tech degree, or something like that. <clears throat> so, as far as cost goes, self-taught dev gets another point. Now, we have starting salary. So, when I started, I was making, actually I still am, I'm make, I'm, I think this is kind of the low end of front-end developers, but all I work with is HTML, CSS, and vanilla JavaScript, so 50K. So we'll say it took somebody two years to get HTML, CSS, and vanilla JavaScript down and get a job, and they're making 50K now. Whereas a computer science major, from what I've seen, the average is about 65K starting out. But by the time the college student starts working, and that's assuming you have a job right out of college too. So by the time the college student starts working, self-taught dev guy over here has been working for two years. And if you're in the developer, career, you're going to have to be learning this stuff. I mean, you're going to have to like continually learn and grow. So by now, let's say you're ready and you get a job as a React developer. Based on what I've seen in Dallas, entry level pay for a React developer is about 65K, but you've got two years of experience. So you can probably get more than that, but we'll just say 65K just to be conservative. At year four, using conservative, like super conservative estimates, you're making 65K, which is the same as a computer science major. And again, that's like super conservative. Like if you've been working on HTML, CSS, and JavaScript for four years, basically, you'd probably be making like 75, 80. But again, we're just being conservative here. So I'm gonna say self-taught dev gets a point for that because you get started working earlier. 
So you've already made 50, 100K, whereas college student is in debt from student loans. Maybe. Again, this is just like, I'm trying to take averages. There are people that graduate college in two years. Uh, there are people that graduate college in like seven, I mean, six or seven years. If you're one of the outliers, props or um, no props, depending on which side of that thing you're on. But yeah, that's why to me, being self-taught is the clear winner. Uh, the opportunity cost, you don't have to sit four years in college and learn a bunch of useless stuff you don't need to know. You can focus on what you want, probably get a job in like a year. If you study like I did, start off a little bit lower than the college student, but you started working earlier. So by the time he graduates, you're making the same, if not more. And also from what I've read on like Glassdoor, Payscale, the pay is pretty similar farther out you go. Like the high end for either one, for computer science, the high was like 150 or like the upper hundreds, right? And then for React developers, the high end is the upper 100Ks. So if you ask me, I say go the self-taught dev route. You do have to have a lot more discipline because you're gonna be, there's not gonna be a class that has a deadline for your paper or your project. Um, you're gonna have to push on your own. College is gonna be way more structured and it's gonna be the well-worn path. You're probably gonna be able to network a lot easier. You can get internships over the summer. So there's like a, as long as you're getting internships, I'm pretty sure you can have a job like right when you graduate. So there's not this period of just searching for a job while you're learning HTML, CSS, and JavaScript um, or whatever stack you're going for. But yeah, uh, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. If you have different opinions, let me know in the comments below as well. Love to hear from people that have gone to college and are now front-end developers, what your thoughts are. And we have a Discord. If you want to come join the Discord, link for that's in the description. I do resume reviews. If you want to shoot me your resume, my email is in the description. I think that's it. So I will see you next time. Peace. Round one.